Welcome to Your Home, Your Happy Place. I'm Debbie. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new in the past several weeks, um, we're revisiting this side of the master bedroom. So before I get started, I'm going to go through what we've already done. And in my Amazon haul, the last one that I did probably is in the spring playlist. I don't know. Um, I showed you some sheets I bought, which those are on the bed. I'll give you a little closer up. And um, a bedspread that I had ordered. I don't even know if I opened it for you on camera. And um, I don't know what else. But what we've been waiting on are pictures. And I haven't looked at them. They're still in the box. So I'm just hoping it's going to work out. So that's what we're going to finish on this half of, of the room today, I hope. I still don't have rugs and, um, you know, I don't always have everything to finish a room. Um, and that's kind of, oh, I, I do want to address something yesterday. So first of all, somebody said, I hope I'm not offending you um, because I want to suggest that you take that picture in the, and we're talking about the family room I just did, off and set it over the tea cart. And I let her know, no, you're not offending me. And I want you guys to know it is um, encouraged. If you want to tell me your thoughts on decorating, as long as they're kind, you know, I've had a couple people sometimes go, well, I'm not even going to go into it. I don't want to give it power. Let's just say if it's going to be uh, snide, snarky, or downright mean, I'm just going to delete it because I don't have room for that in my life. But I love hearing your you know, honest thoughts. And so sometimes I'm going to tell you part of it is, oh, maybe I've already tried that before and I want to try something different or, you know, maybe I didn't like it. Um, in this case, I just got the tea cart. I just got it in there. So this is a whole new idea. And um, while I think that picture would look gorgeous over there, um, I just had a vision for it in that spot and I just fell in love with it. So, and when I'm laying on a couch uh, there, it, it can be in my vision. If it's behind me, it won't be. So that's just where I'm at with that right now. You know how often I change my rooms. So who knows, that picture might even end up up here, which is where originally I was thinking of putting it. So that's that. Today I'm going to start over here on the side and just really quickly go over. And I'll bring up some of the things some of you guys have said over here as well. And I just encourage your comments. I really appreciate it. Okay, I know uh, the sun is always on this side. I have to wait like it's after one o'clock in the afternoon just so I could get it shady over here to do this. Um, these I have had for years and I do not know how long, but they came from Pure One Imports, who's been out of business, I'm sure, for at least four years now. I love the print. They are, you know, it's just, it's very comfortable. What we had here originally, um, Honestly, I can't even, oh, I had a big, um, I had a big settee here that's in the basement right now. Um, and then I had our shelf over there or our bench over there in front of this. And it wasn't until I set it back in there that I realized, oh, that's a pretty good fit. Have I ordered the other one? No, it is a big purchase. I really just can't afford it right now. So I'm really giving it a lot of thought. Overwhelmingly, you all said buy it. I think there were two people who said don't. So I think I'm on the same um, wavelength as all of you guys. And as far as the curtains go, I know somebody said, oh, you need some white curtains or so, uh, pick a color out of here. Absolutely could have, would have, but these I already had. So again, this is budget friendly for me. I had these curtains, all of them. So all I'm doing is absolutely using what I have and I really don't mind it. You know, I'm somebody who loves wallpaper and this is like very close to having wallpaper to have all this print on print. It feels really good to me. Um, the table, I have two of these. The other one is still at the vacation house, I think, I'm pretty sure. And um, 
I did link this. This was supposed to be a gray. To me, it comes out as a green. And that was a, a home goods find last year. And then I'm just going to show you one more thing I added here. It's not the best place for it, but the room, I love it in this room because this is absolutely doing it no good. But I found that. Where did I find it at? You guys, I don't know. Michael's, I think. Yeah, Ashland. So when I was there buying the, here, let me get the sun off of it. When I was buying those, the canvas, um, that's when I found this. And it was very reminiscent of the, of the pictures that I want to put in here. So if I keep my magazines off of it, it's kind of beautiful. But for right now, I'm just going to put my stuff back on it. All right. And then over here is the bed. Um, the sheets are not a pure white. They're more of a creamy. And there's the ruffle. And it's really, really, they're comfortable and I love them. And also the last time we were in this room, I put together these lamps, which are uh, mercury glass and then touch, let's see there, just touch it anywhere. And oop, I already did all three levels. There we go. So there's that. Okay. Let me put a blanket on and then we'll get started on making the bed. That's the blanket. I forgot I also had ordered it. It has a, a very soft plush pile on it. It's a nice, nice weight. It is not too heavy. You can see it's not a super fat one. I love that. So that was also linked, which I'll relink below. Got it on Amazon. All right. So this has, I believe, a, a four plus star rating. People love it, love it, love it. But they noted that a lot of the reason it is ever returned is wrinkles. Um, and this is basically supposed to be in here. So you can kind of see it. It's shabby chic. And I love that about it. So let's find. And it's a bedspread, not a comforter, not a duvet. So super simple to put on. It does have some padding inside this part. So the skirt has no padding in it, but the part that sits on top of the bed has some kind of batting in it. And of course, if I didn't have this here, you know, this would be all out and hanging down beautifully. And I can do that. I just choose because of the, that would not look right. <laughs> so I tuck it in, let it drop behind it. All right, pillows have a ruffle edge on them. I could have picked a lot of colors. There's not even a really true, true pink in that, but it plays off of bringing the, you know, a lesser color out of the print. I mean, you could have totally gone blue in here. That would be great. And you could have used the green as well. So a lot of people will stop there. You know, you've got it done. You got to, to me, it's not enough. So this is the Monique Chulier by Pottery Barn I was telling you about. I told you when I uh, brought it up that it was still on the site, but it's not any longer. I'm sorry about that. Um, it was around for years and I've had mine for years. And they had it paired with another one, which I think I have at our St. Louis house. 
So now when I put this up here, you can see this is a much peachier pink because this is true pink. And since I'm not decorating for any season, so I kind of call this just my everyday decor. We'll be going to Easter next. Um, I'm just using a European size pillow. I have gotten these at TJ Maxx or Home Goods. Um, it's got a cute double ruffle. Again, it's a shabby chic. It's got a lot of texture on the um, pillow itself. And I just want that in the center. And this is the duvet cover that matches those pillowcases. So you can see it's tied here. It's got buttons. And I'm just going to, I've already got it kind of folded up. It's going to lay here towards the foot of the bed. So on a night when it's a little colder, I can pull this up over me. Or if I want weight which I love weight on the bed. And I have a weighted blanket, but it's almost too heavy. Whoops. So for me, that's my finished bed. Um, for Easter, I will not be changing the room a whole lot. I'm going to just add Easter touches. Uh, I'm going to be doing that in a lot of the rooms this year. So, all right, there's where we're at. Um, I think I'm going to do the pictures next. Okay, there's a story. Um, I wanted to get... I'm just really attracted to coastal. And there were some sort of watercolor ones I was really interested in. And then that's how I ended up on the website where I'm gonna try painting that. Um, but I ended up buying some very bright ones and they were just too bright for the room. And I'll show them after this because I haven't returned them. So I had made um, like a mood board and it's on my Instagram and my Pinterest. And I had kind of a watercolor landscape in there that was soft. And that's what I ended up buying. I, I got all from the same artist and I bought from the same, like the, a lot of the artists will say Valley 1, Valley 2. I think these are maybe some of the valleys. And I just couldn't make up my mind. So I bought three because there's no reason I have places that I can, whether I hang it out in the sitting room, which would be great, or I find another spot in here, which I easily could. I thought I'd, and I, uh, they always come in different sizes. So I really thought about that because I could have gotten it bigger. I could have gotten a, one large one to go over there. I'm very excited to see what it looks like. Okay, I picked a gray frame. I think I had a choice between a natural and a black and a gray. Oh, it is pretty. Ooh. So here we go, looking for the opening so I can take it out. Oh, right here. Now, just standing here, you can kind of see the pink. So I looked for something that had pink in it. This also has the blue. Now, the blue in these, well, I use a pillow. The blue in these chairs is um, more like the sky blue up here, not this bright aqua. So, and then the greens are in here, but not to the, there's just different colors of green in here. So I think it's a really, you know, you, you don't need it matchy matchy, but you want it to reference the mood of the room. And I love that. And yeah, that's a canvas. I'm just gonna hang it on a nail for now that's already here. 
and then we'll see if it needs to move. I'll hang it for real later. Yeah, that's not what I wanted for sure. And over here is too far away. <laughs> okay, well. I don't know. So I have a couple nails that are already in there. So I just hung it on one. That one was too close. Um, it had it behind the bed frame. So uh, I like the size of it and just not exactly sure where I'm going to hang it. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to put another nail with the wall. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. Okay. I just love this one. That was slightly different. But it's the same artist. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that. They're so peaceful and serene. And there is just this peachy pink that's in here in several spots, even up here in the sky. And then this is close to the blue that's in my chairs. And then one of those greens is in that chair. So, But do they look good together? You know, I'm not sure. See, there's a giant speck of aqua blue in the one on the right. And there's not a speck of that over here. So it's just enough different that I don't know. So let's see what the third one looks like. Ah, okay. Hmm. So here's the last one. Um, I think these two look really good together. I just wasn't sure about those two looking good together because of the blue. So let me just kind of show you up close what we think. And I can look back on the recording and look at it then. So there's that pair together. Wow, it almost looks like a continuation as it goes up. That's interesting. Here's these two together. So. Hmm. And maybe you can see why I couldn't make a decision. I am not sure right now. I'm going to take this one down and hang this one up. If you remember my uh, romantic table setting from about a week ago, I found two white florals in my basement. And I said I thought I had some pink ones too. And I found them and they really are the exact same. So you can see the pretty little glass that they're in and it's the same flower. Um, and these were on clearance last year at TJ Maxx. They, a lot of times I'll put those on the end dials. Always check because I don't see a thing wrong with any of them and I loved them all. They were very inexpensive. They were under $10 each. I'm gonna pop these over here. I did try. Um, I tried the white one, or I exchanged these with the white ones on the table, and um, these these did not look as good there as the white ones did. So would the white ones look good up here? Probably, but I really like bringing the cut, spreading the color out. I may change out these candles because I'm running across some really pretty um, electric ones or not electric, but battery operated ones that are pale pink, I might bring in here. But I do, I love my Innis um, scent. So, and this is a, it's just a plain white candle. So I'm just gonna put these out for now. And lastly, these, um, you know, in a lot of my other rooms you've seen, I have more of a pitcher and then the cup goes over it. But um, I found these, I, I, wanna, I wanna say they're an Irish crystal. I've got them on Amazon. I'm sure I can find them and link them. 
and they're just great. I get up in the night. I like a glass of water. I don't want to get it out of the tap. So fill this up before I go with some of my filtered refrigerated cold water and I have what I need. Or maybe I get a headache in the middle of the night, which is often I got something to take with it. Over here, so this piece, which is a tall chest, uh, used to be on this, which I don't, it's hard for you to tell, but this is an angled wall. So it starts here and then it's an angle to there. And then I've got it right at the, almost the corner. So I decided to move it and it kind of made the room feel a little bigger doing that. Um, I've propped things up here before. I've propped pictures. Uh, I got something in mind right now. I don't know if it's gonna work, so I'm gonna go grab it and see about putting it up. All right, it's uh, this mirror. I think I might've propped it up before. Uh, this is a TJ Maxx mirror. Yeah, because I remember telling you it was only $14.99. I've had it for years. So I'm gonna put that up over this. I had it leaning before. So I'm going to need some kind of nail. It's a little heavy, so I'm going to have to go hunt for something. But what I wanted to show you is I bought this on Amazon this year. I just thought it was so pretty. Oh, my gosh. This looks so real lifelike. I can't even tell you. And it, um, I, I'm not sure if it came in other sizes, but I, I wanted a small one, so it's little. And I just kind of thought, what would that look like on here? Well, it fits on the ring there perfectly, perfectly. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to attach it, which I don't know how. But I'm gonna find a way to attach this. I'm gonna hang it up here. And I think it's gonna be really, really pretty. Okay, I went down and looked for something to attach and it is a little heavy. So I'm kind of overboard because this is what I had. It's a 35 pounder, but I don't know if you guys ever, I had not heard of them when I started using them. So I'm just bringing it up. Um, they call these monkey hooks and you put them in the wall. It's pointy here, put them in the wall and then you push them and turn them around. And the weight of the picture here pulls this against your drywall and holds it. And um, you don't need a hammer. Um, my husband doesn't like them. He thinks they're too big of a hole, but I think they're about the same size as a small nail. So, and they're pretty easy to take out because all you have to do is loosen it a little and then turn it upside down and pull it out. Problem is if you hit a stud, it's not going to work, but okay. I marked it. I'm going to move this. I marked it terribly, but <laughs> I'm hoping I'm doing it in the right spot. Okay, I'm in. So you can see, watch me turn it and now push. Oh, maybe you don't do it yet. I don't know. Push it in first and then turn it. Come on. I'm making it not look as easy as it is. There you go. So push it all the way in down first. And when you get it there, you turn it. <laughs> now it doesn't want to turn. There we go. And then you push it all the way in. So see, it just looks like a little hook. I know you can't really see it, but it really does. Oh, there it is. There you go. Okay, so I know it's going to hold this. I'd say this is, I don't know, 8 to 10 pounds. There we go. Oh, Debbie, is it too low? I don't think I want it higher than that. 
Actually, that's exactly where I thought I was putting it. So I'm not going to worry about it because I honestly tried to get it that close. I think it should, I think it would look better a little higher. But I don't want to put another hole in the wall, so I'm leaving it. Now let's see how that would look on it. I still haven't decided how to hang this on there. I guess I could try putting um, a command hook on the mirror just so that it it wasn't really hooked into it, but kept it from going down. I like that. So let me go find something and see what I can pull off. I gave it a little clean. Okay, so I did. I used a little, watch me mess it up here. I used a little, um, one of those circle ones that are about this, no, about that big with a hook on them. They're like a suction cup command strip. I just put that on the mirror. And even though it makes it a little lower than I planned, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. So let's do a little something up here. I don't have a lot, but Easter will come and I'll add some more. All right, here's what I ended up doing. I actually raised that, if you can't tell, quite a bit. <laughs> and I had this in the perfect spot in the sitting room, but it just, I really like it here. It's eye level. This is our bedroom. It's a very, you know, it's a romantic spot. So I like that. And these were the bathroom, but they tie in with the mercury glass. And I have, not that anybody can really see them, but I have little pink uh, battery operated. I don't know if this one's sometimes there. There we go. They're the flickering kind, so it's so pretty at night. So that is how this little spot ended. Um, I still have quite a big space here, and I don't think I'm going to do anything. I'm not somebody that has to have something in every spot. I need my eye to rest. I did go ahead, although I see one of them's crooked, I did go ahead and rehang these pictures to where I liked them. I'm used to having something pretty close to the bed versus on the other side of the lampshades. And um, not really in the center, so you can't tell. But anyway, that one over there is a little crooked right now. So I need to um, slide him over a bit. <laughs> and I thought about the third one. And I've decided, you know, when I'm laying in bed, I'm never going to get to see these. And yes, I get to look outside at my beautiful view, but what about putting one right there? So that's what I think I'm gonna do because there's really not another good spot. There's not enough room here. The other wall, um, it's not a very good focal point. Uh, over here is too close to the bed. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. So, um, and I already have something hanging in the sitting room. So I think I'm gonna do that. I've not really done anything like this before. By artist canvas and hang the same artist up. So that is going to be that. Um, I'm thinking, you know, I had my um, gold, uh, very skinny little lamps up here, but I took all the gold out of this room and turned it into silver. And I haven't ordered those in gold. I don't want to. They're very modern looking and go drawing completely away from the look that's going on in here right now. So um, I'm going to keep my eye out for something for up there. Um, but with Easter coming, you know, I might find something just Easter. And I have, have yet to find anything for the floor. Um, I'm sure there's a lot out there, but I need to get something that's neutral enough that when I change out all the colors, I don't have to change out the rug, especially if I decide to get a really big one, but I don't know that I will. So I'll hang this picture up, but before I do, I'm going to take you on the journey of how I ended up waiting on these and why. Here's what. Don't laugh. I mean, I, okay, how am I going to know if you are? You can laugh if you want, but the idea that I even thought that this could work in here is kind of crazy. I am, in case you don't know, I am a professional interior decorator. But I can't say uh, we're not all on the same level, number one. Number two, 
I throw out a lot of rules. I think a lot of decorators do. Uh, I just don't like them. And uh, I like to decorate with what makes somebody happy. <laughs> well, this makes me really happy. This room created a mood. And it is a mood that's very soft and subtle, as you can kind of see. And what I'm about to show you is anything but. So I only opened one of these because I might still send them back. I'm still in the time frame where I can. Again, I bought from the same artist, not the same artist as these, but two pictures of the same, like, you know, hers were probably Coastal Key Largo or something. Yeah. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Now you can see where I was getting some of the coloring, but, and, you know, if this room didn't have that mood going, yes, you can say, well, yes, yeah, some of these colors go great. It's just, it's totally not the mood of this room. So it's a fun, happy picture, and it looks like the other pictures that I have in my studio. So I will, if I keep it, that's where it's going to hang. I know that. So, all right. So that is that one. Then in the middle of all this, why I didn't order the picture is, and maybe I'll take you downstairs. It's so heavy. I'm not bringing it back up here. I have a canvas, but I have something similar enough that's up here. I'm going to bring over. Uh, this one's behind glass. It's still filthy. It's been in the garage for so long. So this one's definitely traditional, and I probably could have gotten away with this one for sure. Sorry, my ring light's in there. I could have, but I needed more than one piece of art, and so I was going to use the other piece on this wall here that I have that's blank right now because it's a real big substantial piece, and then I wouldn't have needed the two here because I would have done a really big one there. And it's a gorgeous picture. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. And I almost put it in the sitting room too. But it changes so much in my sitting room because my sitting room has a lot of coastal in it. And it's not coastal at all. So I'm going to take you down and show you that. So here it is. The colors were perfect, you guys. It's just super bold in there. And this is a canvas. I bought it at a secondhand shop, um, but still, even it being a secondhand shop, I mean, this frame is huge. The canvas, it's, you know, it is a painted uh, canvas back here. It, this was still over $300, um, and I adore it. When we moved here, I was going to hang it over the fireplace in the dining room, but my fireplace is too tall. And so there's not room for it. And I haven't found a place. And I thought, here it is. I found it. Um, and really, the place it looks best is in the sitting room. So I don't know. Eventually, I think it might find its way up there. But not this, not this season because while the blues that I'm taking in there look great with it, I still would, I have to undo so much coastal. Um, I have four pictures hanging in there that are coastal. So not this season, but I'll probably bring it back another time. I won't get rid of it. I, while we're here, I'm going to show you something else. I have another one. This was always in the piano room at our other house. I bought this as an, at an auction, and I love it. I know she's a classic. Um, gosh, I just love it. But again, uh, there's no place to hang art in here. <laughs> I do have that um, easel where I have a hymn on, but I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted you to see these were the things that I really tried before I bought what I bought. Well, you guys, I appreciate your time today. I hope you had a great time. I hope you got some ideas. hope you saw some of the things that are mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some new tools, whatever it is. I just, uh, I love having my my time with you guys, and I appreciate your comments so much. Keep them coming. Um, if you're new, uh, you know you're welcome, and I'd love for you to subscribe. Thank you so much. Press that subscribe button. It's free. Don't forget to hit the notification all button as well. That way, if I write something on the community tab, that's not going to show up on TV. It's going to show up 
on your notifications that, hey, she's, she's done something. And you can find me on the phone or your laptop or whatever. And it might say there's a sale somewhere or um, I, I've, here's something I just noticed or uh, I'm sick. You know, whatever. It just keeps you up to date. Follow me on Instagram. I am posting a little bit, but right now it's still tied to what I'm decorating with. It is an easy access for you to shop my links, though, because if you go up into the bio, smart bio, and you'll see it takes you right to the little Amazon uh, storefront where those individual items are. And you can just, you know, look from there and decide whether you want something or not. Uh, what else? I'm coming back Tuesday, so I want you guys to have a really wonderful weekend. I hope the weather's going to be great for you. And I don't know what I'm bringing you on Tuesday. I do know what I'm bringing you on Valentine's Day. So a week from today, I'm going to be bringing you my first Easter, for sure, Easter dining room tablescape. So I hope you'll join me for that as well. And I'm going to close out with the room. Until then, you guys, make your home your happy place. Thank you.